Yo, what's up guys? So I just left Rite Aid, now I'm headed to the mall. I'm running some errands today on my bike. It's an absolutely beautiful Sunday and I want to talk about how riding a motorcycle is an introvert's paradise. So I just want to say that I've known how to ride a bike since I was like five years old. My parents started, my sister and I on bikes. We had a family beach house. So every year between the, the months of May to September, we actually lived at our family beach house. And that's how we got around. We always were riding bikes. We used to go for family bike rides every single day. We'd go out with our friends and ride bikes. I used to go on Boy Scout camping trips where we would ride bikes. So riding a bike was something that was normal to me and it was like a way of transportation and it was really fun. Now, when I went away to college, I didn't bring a bike, but I rode on a, I actually went to a campus that was huge. It was basically like a city campus. And that was one of the things that I was looking for when going away to college. I wanted it to be like a campus. Um, now that I know what I know now, I probably should have just went to this city, which is close to me, New Brunswick. But I feel like everything happens for a reason. And I wonder if I didn't actually go to the school I went to, would I be in the position I was in? Because I joined a fraternity I didn't like and that caused me and gave me the fire to drop out so if i would have joined the fraternity that i liked would i actually be in the position that i'm in who knows but like i said i'm beating this shit i don't care i run red lights all the time like i said so i went to a school with a huge city campus feel and i didn't bring a bike now when I moved into my first dorm, because the first dorm I moved into, I actually moved out of it in like um, maybe two weeks because I had like four roommates and it was just too much and we had a little space to ourselves. So I was like, I want a little, big, little bit bigger of a room with just one roommate that's not as bad. And I actually did that. But while I was in that first dorm, there was a bike that was left by the garbage can for like basically the whole week and i was like man maybe this is somebody's i'm not going to take it but it was literally sitting there for a whole week next to the garbage can and i was like listen man if this is here by this day i'm taking it and it was so i took it so i don't know if it was somebody's bike or somebody threw it in the garbage but it was a solid bike man it was a really nice mountain bike and i used to whip that thing all over campus i used to sometimes instead of going to the fraternity parties that i was in i would literally just ride it around campus on my bike listen to music jam out and just be in the zone man and that's something i loved doing like literally instead of raging my face off drinking i used to just ride my bike and that's how i feel with this thing man i you know sometimes Riding with people is really cool, but just riding by yourself is even better, man, because you're surrounded with, by people, which as an introvert drains you out, but you're actually by yourself. Look at all these cars around me. Look at all these people um, driving crazy that could, you know, but that girl had a cool Gu Gucci shirt on. Um, all these people that, you know, viciously drive on the road, but at the same time, if you have music in and or you're making a video with a GoPro, you're actually by yourself, man. So I think like, riding a motorcycle or whatever kind of bike you have listening to music being in the zone having your face shield down it's an introvert's paradise because in all honesty man there's been times where i really enjoy being by myself every day like if i'm at a mastermind or a business partners at the end of the day i'm like all right man drop me off man i need to recharge and extroverts just can't seem to grasp the feeling of what it means to have to recharge but i'm telling you if you're an introvert this is one of the most non-draining activities because even though i'm surrounded by all these people um my man move go yeah baby but back to like i was saying man this is introverts paradise man I do like riding with people from time to time, but at the same time, you know, I just, I would rather just whip it down the highway by myself, do my own thing, go out to eat by myself, man. I do like close relationships with people that I'm cool with, but at the same time, man, being solo dolo on a bike is like you're floating. Oh, this dude, sometimes people want to ride your ass, so when they do that, I just be out on them. Look at him. I'm out, dog. Let me know what you guys like to do on like Friday nights. Do you guys like going out every single weekend and interacting with people and going to parties? Or do you guys like staying home? I think a lot of people think that they're the only introvert around when in reality, there's a lot more introverted people than you might think. Um, 
There's actually a Ferrari dealership up here somewhere. Let me see if I can bring you guys to it real quick. Oh, look, 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 it's right here. Bentley. Ooh, look at the Bentayga. Bentley Bentayga, straight violation. Nah, I gotta see this shit. Yo. This vehicle is ready for sale. Look at this thing. Damn, man. Look at that color. That thing is sexy. Dude, there's no back seat, but I don't even care. Yo, this is my next car. Well, actually, I'm going to get a uh, BMW, another, like, an upgraded BMW, like a 16 or a 17. And then when I get a total of, like, 25, 30 rentals, I'm getting a yellow Ferrari. I was thinking red, but look at that yellow, man. What you guys think? Ketchup or mustard? Or both? Alright, guys, so I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Let me know what you guys think about it also look at this one look at this one oh look at these yeah park these ugly things in the back you can't even compare a lexus to a bunch of fucking bentley's man look at that shit damn man there's not any place to park this is unfortunate oh wait i got a motorcycle duh Alright guys, so I need gas bad and I'm going to show you guys the beautiful thing about a motorcycle because I'm literally on E and it's only going to cost me maybe 7 bucks to fill my tank. Damn. Yo, that's it. That's a fucking, that's a thousand, all these shits are thousands. Yeah, that, I can't even keep up, man. I, I don't even know if I should try. It's a thousand? I, I already know I can't keep up with you guys. Huh? I said I already know I can't keep up with you guys. Oh, you got 300? Uh, 650. Oh, that's a 650? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you guys, huh? Where you going? I'm just riding. Let's go to Philly. Philly? Uh, Philly. You going right now? Yeah, that's where we're going now. All right, bet. Alright guys, so I was riding with that group of uh, thousand bikes, but I can't keep up with those guys, man. Those dudes are so far ahead right now, I can barely see them. And like, they're cruising at a buck 20, man. My bike maxes out at a buck 20, and I don't even like going that fast. Like 80, 90, man, that's the top of speed I like taking it to. I've gone, like I said, 115 one time, man. And in all honesty, I was scared to death, like... Fuck that shit. As soon as this next exit comes... Nonetheless, I fuck with the biker community heavy, man. Those guys didn't even know me, and they just invited me to ride with them. So that's fucking dope, man. I just can't keep up, so... Fuck that. Fuck your pay toll, dog. <laughs>